Hello everybody, my name is Zachary Kronheimer. I'm a freshman at the Rutgers Business School studying finance and economics. I'm Ethan Lowe, I'm a sophomore studying finance and economics. My name is Hrde and I'm a freshman studying finance and economics. I'm Evan, I'm a sophomore, I'm studying bait and finance. Hi, I'm Andes, I'm a sophomore studying bait. The cash conversion cycle measures the time each net input dollar is tied up to the production and sales process before it's converted into cash through sales to customers. Effective management of the cash conversion cycle allows a company to make use of cash longer, which is beneficial for the business. The cash conversion cycle is the amount of time needed to collect receivables plus the time needed to sell inventory, minus the time needed to pay payables. By increasing or decreasing these individual metrics, we can affect the cash conversion cycle as a whole. As you can see, the industry average cash conversion uh, cycle has remained fairly consistent, while XYZ's has progressively grown every year. XYZ's long cash conversion cycle is a serious weakness of the company, and it's important that they reduce it in order to remain competitive in the industry. So we will address three central problems with XYZ's business, which negatively, negatively affect their cash conversion cycle. Customers are not paying XYZ on time per the terms of their agreement, uh, which is resulting in an increase in our day sales outstanding. XYZ also doesn't have a system sufficiently linking sales <coughs> to manufacturing, which likely leads to them producing inefficient amounts of inventory and increasing their day's inventory outstanding. Finally, XYZ pays their suppliers on a weekly basis, which is unnecessarily shortening their day's payable outstanding. To solve these problems, we have the following recommendations for XYZ. We would suggest that XYZ create a supply chain finance program for their suppliers and customers in order to decrease their day's sales outstanding and increase their day's payable outstanding. If companies XYZ works with would not like to join the supply chain finance program, we have additional con contingency plans to ensure XYZ still manages their flow of payments more efficiently. Additionally, we would recommend XYZ create an integrated forecasting method linking sales to manufacturing in order to know how much inventory should be produced, which would decrease their day's inventory outstanding. Under normal circumstances, suppliers try to get paid as quickly as they can, and buyers try to pay as late as they can. This conflict can be avoided by implementing a supply chain finance program. Supply chain finance works by first allowing buyers to make payments much later than is standard, increasing the amount of time they can hold on to cash. While this is extremely helpful to buyers, it harms suppliers as they get paid later. This problem can be avoided by allowing suppliers to sell invoices from buyers to third party funders if they wish. These funders will pay suppliers the invoice amount minus a small fee then hold the invoice until the buyers pay them the full amount. Supply chain finance programs allow buyers to extend their day's payable outstanding while simultaneously letting suppliers reduce their day's sales outstanding for a small fee. The program also allows suppliers to have more certainty over when they will be paid as they can opt to sell their invoices at any point they should, de should they desire. Additionally, there are unique benefits of a supply chain finance program to XYZ situation. When XYZ is acting as a supplier, it will benefit from the fact that its customers have a higher credit rating. This means that funders have a higher degree of certainty that their customers' invoices will be paid, allowing XYZ to make more profit from selling their invoices. A supply chain finance program would extend the period, the period buyers have to pay XYZ, meaning they are no longer violating the terms of their agreement. We believe this is important to note, as we do not want to set a precedent that it is okay for companies to violate contracts with us, as it appears our customers have done so for several years. Finally, given the industry average cash conversion cycle, it would appear that most of our competitors require companies to pay them much quicker than we will after imp implementing a supply chain finance program. This will make us a more attractive company to work with and gives us a small edge over most of our industry. 
When XYZ is a buyer, our suppliers will benefit from the fact that we have a higher credit rating than them as they will now be the ones selling out invoices to funders in the supply chain finance program. Our suppliers could also potentially be in a bad cash position if we paid them too late, and letting them sell their invoices nearly immediately will resolve that issue without it negatively impacting our day's payable outstanding. Much like with our buyers, the supply chain finance program will benefit our suppliers, improving their relationship with us and making other companies more willing to work with us. While we believe the vast majority of our customers and suppliers will want to be involved in the supply chain finance program, we want to have a comprehensive plan which would be able to accommodate any companies which chose not to join the program. By charging interest on late payments from buyers, we can reduce their incentive to pay us late. We also won't be alienating any customers who follow the terms of our agreements as we wouldn't charge any interest on payments made on time. Our suppliers could be hurt financially if we paid them as late as possible, which would hurt our supply chain. So we would instead suggest meeting with our major suppliers and working out new contracts on when we can pay them, which wouldn't harm them. XYZ would then pay our suppliers as late as we can according to these new contracts instead of paying them on the weekly basis that we have been. The last step in reducing XYZ's cash conversion cycle is implementing a better way to manage inventory production. Currently, the suboptimal method of linking sales and manufacturing could produce shortages or surpluses and tie up capital and inventory longer than is necessary. By implementing an integrated forecasting method, XYZ will have better synchronized production and distribution processes, leading to higher revenues and reduced inventory outstanding. Once XYZ implements these new programs, we want them to be able to monitor their progress through more than just metrics through more metrics than just simply cash conversion cycle, although reducing it would be our ultimate goal. By tracking cash required to finance working capital, the receivables turnover, and the inventory turnover, XYZ will, be, will have a more comprehensive understanding of their process and efficiency. The cash required to finance working capital is a measure of how much cash XYZ needs on hand to fund their daily expenses of the business and it's currently sitting about $21,300,000 for the company. This can be found by adding the inventory and accounts receivable and then subtracting the accounts payable. As the company decreases their CCC, the cash required will also be less. The receivables turnover is a measure of how effectively a company collects on credit issued to the customers and is currently sitting at 8.69 for the company. It can be found by dividing the net credit sales by the average accounts receivable. As the company becomes more efficient at collecting debt, the receivable turnover rate will also increase. The inventory turnover is a measure of how quickly a company sells and replaces its inventory and is currently sitting at 4.87 for XYZ. It can be found by dividing the cost of goods sold by the average inventory. As the company becomes more efficient at forecasting inventory, the inventory turnover ratio will also rise. In conclusion, we believe that implementing a supply chain finance program and an integrated forecasting method will significantly reduce XYZ's cash conversion cycle, which will overall improve the, health of the, fi the financial health of the company. We strongly recommend that XYZ looks further into these measures, and thank you very much for your time.